Hafiz Kennels. Happy normal human being New Year. Turban's a little crook, but it's all good, baby. Happy New Year on the solar calendar. To lady, to y'all, you guys, you know, Islamically, we're looking at the lunar calendar. It's not in yet, but you know what? You guys can make it a happy and blessed 2024. We are in high feast kennels for sure. We got a blessing on the ground. We got the monster, a singlet, a singlet out of Sahara and bear guys. All right. Um, what you guys don't know, man, this breeding, this dog breeding stuff ain't easy, man. You know, some people think it's all fun and puppies and milk and, 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 uh, and puppy food and, and bite work and arr, your dog's got to do things and sit, stay and hand signals. Look, man, it's a lot of work when it comes to this dog breeding, guys, you know. Um, I mean, just a short snippet because I don't want to be too long. I want to show Sahara and I want to show the monster. And I'll show Bear also, the father. I mean, but it's just, just in this short journey of giving you guys information, right? I mean, I've been doing this dog breeding thing since probably like 2005. I've been doing dog breeding for a long time, right? Fast forward to when I decided to come up with a breed. I mean, I'm what, five, six, seven, we're seven generations in, probably 10 years in the making on this breed, right? To get it how we want it. I mean, we're just talking about last year, I had a full litter parish, one puppy live, and the mom parish from having to go into emergency C-section and the, and the mother dying from anesthesia. Because it's always a risk when you put your dogs in the surgery. A lot of people don't know that, you know? Especially large breed dogs, okay? Because sometimes they may not know how much to give them and all this other stuff, right? The year before that, the same female got mastinitis or mastinus that's when a nipple can get some can become hard during the breeding i think you saw that video i filmed some of it but i stopped because i couldn't even take it anymore you can go back and see history and make it part two i literally took the dog to a particular vet in my little fancy area the dog comes back all the puppies start dying off the dog brought back toxidia. I've never had toxidia in my yard ever. All the puppies died but two. So, this is a real tearjerker. Took a lot to even have this conversation, but I want you guys to get to know more behind dog breeding and just to know the reality of this thing, man. You know, this takes a long, you just can't wake up tomorrow and have a, and create the Doberman Pinscher. The person who made that went through ups and downs, ins and outs. I mean, you know, but God has a plan in my life and your life. And you got to figure out what that is. If you don't believe in a higher power, you're, you're missing out <laughs> on you. Because <laughs> the you is the God and the who and the he and the how who he. All right, I'm not going to go too deep into it. But you're the miracle. Think about it. Out of all the hundreds and thousands of semen sperm that came out your father and to your mother you're the one that hit the egg you're a winner you're a winner but hey those who believe guys say you're gonna always be tested so let's get into the dog thing man hey sh shorten up that last story Dua is daughter of puma daughter of shaka puma has passed last year crushed right was going to be something special to have a whole lot of lines off of her, right? She's also mother of Bear and Botica, who the father is Diesel, who passed. Probably a lot of people asking about Diesel. He passed last year from a heat stroke. Texas gets so hot. Look, had him outside, had air condition on him, all types of stuff on him. But 
that's another thing that inspired me. You gotta learn from these from these from these lessons. Having dogs outside, you can do it. You gotta keep the ground wet. There's so much stuff you have to learn. The the dog's feet is where their sweat glands are at. Koi taught me this, right? Koi Matlock from Matlock Bulldogs Heavens, right? The ground has to be moist at all times. Otherwise, it doesn't matter what you got on them, right? But luckily, all these phenomenal, do phenomenal dogs that passed, they left legacy that we can continue, right? Because the show must go on. You know, so thank God we were able to get Bear into Sahara and make this F2 monster that we have. Now, look, one puppy. Sahara had seven puppies. Beautiful, humongous monstrosities. Oh, oh my God. One, one live. Six came out dead. We don't know why. Their hearts were beating, but they came out dead. Some of them came out without a fetus sac. Who knows? Could be a first time mom. So many different variables. But I'm saying this because when people go into these dog breeding, oh, your dogs cost this, cost that. It's a reason because it's hard work sacrifice and commitment that we're putting into these dogs man health care health and food the health the quality of the life the cleansiness of the kennels putting the right dogs with the right dogs to make sure stuff doesn't happen you know i've had some uh a, a person first a dog the dog got started getting seizures right but it's not only Plays a, that plays a role also in how you feed the dog, what you feed the dog, vaccines, shots. This stuff is so serious when it comes to this dog breed, you know? That's why, you know, you'll see Sahara, she still has a cherry eye because I chose not to remove the cherry eye until at least she had her first litter. So when I put her under the, under the knife or she goes under anesthesia, if she comes out different or doesn't come out at all, I don't lose her. You see what I'm saying? It's the science behind this. Oh, people saying they have no clue about what we've been through. Ask someone who breeds Neapolitan Mastiffs and large breed dogs about bloat. Sometimes these dogs' stomachs can flip. This is why we had to create a new breed to eliminate all these birth defects, all these health issues that come with some of these purebreds. We're trying to pull out the quality and the best out of each one. All right? I've been rambling. I try to make this stuff five minutes long. I'm going to show you Sahara. I'm going to show you Bear. I'm going to show you the puppy. And I'm going to show you guys a happy new year. You dig? Cut the tape. Get to Sahara. And play my theme music. Let's go. The beast. Sahara. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Luke Makani. Underbite. Bones, head, rear end. Everything we want. Now look. Nipples are pretty long. So, as a breeder, I'm going to have to try to breed that out, right? So I have to make a choice. The females out of her, I may not use for the next, right? I may only use males out of her because I don't want to continue the big saggy nipples, right? So maybe Botica will be where the majority of the females come out of, right? But these are the things that the breeders have to make the decisions and choices, right? But we'll see if they suck up nice, you know, lemon juice will squeeze them nipples right back up. She looks good though. Where, where you going, girl? Where you going, mama? Where you going, baby? That's my turkeys. Where you going, big mama? You should look, girl. Yes, you are. Let's go. Let's go, Sahara. Let's go. See, there's the cherry eye. We're going to get that out because now we have the puppy. So she actually came in weighing at 130, which I'm not surprised. She was a little, of course she was heavier with the puppies, but she came in at 130. That's a good base for females. Um, I, I'm expecting all the Luke Marconini females to weigh anywhere between 130, 150 in the F2 zones, maybe F3, F4s. We can maybe get them a little bigger, a little heavier. But at this point, man, we're really happy with the product and what, and what came from it. So now, we're gonna jump in and show you Bear. Let's go. I decided to show you guys Bear, Botica, and Dua, all the products off of Puma. Two different males as the father. Bear, Botica off of Diesel, like we showed you. Puma's off of Shaka. Bear and Botica 
will be two this year. They're not even two yet, they're monsters. Do I won't be two till whew, next year sometime. So she's still, she's still, I mean, she won't even be one. She'll be one years old, I believe in March. And these dogs will be two in April. So we'll be breeding Baraka to Genghis. And possibly, then more likely do I to Genghis, right? So there's your bear. That's your big fella. He's your big boy. Yes, you are. Oh. <laughs> Go on, big boy. Now he does look a little different in the in the face than everyone else, right? But that doesn't matter because of Sahara. You see what I'm saying? That's why when you see this puppy, you'll see what we're talking about with the, he does have an underbite, he just has a little bit more snout. But let me see if I can get him to come here. Let me let you guys see. Come here, bear. Get up here. He's not, he don't normally jump up on me. But you can see how big he is in reality to me. Let me see if I can get, get that. Oh, there's Badaka. Oh, look at that boy. Look at that boy's beard. Look at that boy. Oh, oh yeah. There you are, fella. Oh, oh, sheesh. Look at the head on you, boy. Look at the head on you, boy. Let's see if I can get my stand up. Oh, God. Oh, they want to bite. They want to wrestle. Oh, they want to wrestle. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this joker to stand up and play. Maybe not. I'm going to let him run. Next video, I'll just measure him, show you guys how tall he is from the from the withers. Bear, bear. He's your good boy. He's your good boy. Yes, you are. Whew, that's a nice looking male. Nowhere near done growing. I don't foresee these guys stop growing until at least three to four years old, like most mastiffs. But that's a big boy. So that's gonna be father of this puppy, I'm gonna show you. There's his sister. Y'all yeah, know beautiful Bataka. For some reason there's a frozen, there's a little ice box freezer there. Came out of here. Haven't made it to the garbage can yet. Then we got the doo-doo, the chicken herder. Doo ah. She's looking good too, girl. Getting big. Getting big, big, big. All right, guys. Time for the puppy. Time for the puppy. Time for the master. Right, Baba? Let's go, baby. Here's the little monster. Beautiful monster. Beautiful little behemoth. Look at him. Oh, yeah. Come here, boy, boy. That's a big old two week old going on three week old puppy for sure. Nice muscle structure, forearms, head. Exactly what we were going for. Like we said, the second generation should definitely be bigger than the first because we have locked in on the genetics. We have the underbite like we planned. Nice noggin on him. Beautiful male. So this guy, we're gonna keep an eye on him. Keep him healthy. And keep feeding your baby. What's your boy, boy? Look at the paws on this guy. There's the mama. Good boy. Looking for some milk. You looking for some milk? Nice mahogany tiger stripe. Brindle. What's up, Pop? <laughs> Let's get this guy some milk. What's your baby boy? Your big boy. Beautiful puppy. All right, guys, stay tuned. More of this guy. Yeah, come. Play out theme music. One of a kind of dog, you understand me? Only place you gonna find these dogs, you understand me? Yeah. <laughs> 
Rose it.